Now the UK is set to sizzle this weekend. Temperatures expected to soar to 30 degrees in some areas. It's hot, isn't it? From nine o'clock this morning, so in an hour, about an hour and a half's time, two heat health mm. alerts will come into effect in parts of the country. It's the first time we've ever had the alerts, first time this year. Jonathan Swain is live for us in Brighton this morning. Uh, I'd imagine, Jonathan, it's going to get very busy down there. It's a beautiful place to be when you're beside the sea, in the sunshine. Um, is it hot already? Morning, Bill. I have to be honest with you. The sun is out here in Brighton this morning, but it's not that warm, not yet. There's a bit of a, a cool breeze. I'm sure Laura can explain all about that uh, in just a moment. I do like a swim, but I don't think I'd want to go for a dip uh, this morning. But uh, look, we have this a new uh, heat health alert system in place. It basically uh, gives a, a warning and helps to trigger the, the responsiveness of things such as the, the government, the councils. Uh, hospitals and care homes, etc. But they are prepared here in Brighton, not only to have, as you say, the wonderful sea, they have this new swimming pool facility. We've got two swimmers down here, Carmen and Katie. You're in the perfect place for a hot weekend, aren't you? Oh, we definitely are. More than happy to be here. <laughs> so, Carmen, you'll be yeah, going to be here all weekend? Yeah, I'll be here most weekend. Yeah, it's a lovely facility. And you need to be, because you're training to swim the channel. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, next summer I'll be training. Uh, well, I'm training at the moment, but yeah, swimming next, next summer. So training starts now, and this is a great facility to do that. Katie, you're so lucky having this on, on your doorstep, and you've got the beach here too. I know, it's absolutely fantastic. I've got this Monday mornings, Friday mornings, I'll be down here training with the swimming club, and then um, I've, I've joined up as a member as well, so I can make the most of it. So that and the sea, nothing to complain about. <laughs> obviously the hot weather uh, this weekend, obviously there is a sort of alert system out there in place, but do you see sort of like behaviour on the beach, you sort of think, well, maybe that person could do with a, a bit of sun cream or a bottle of water? <laughs> Definitely down here in Brighton. <laughs> It, on a regular occurrence. It does get rams, doesn't it? It does, absolutely heaving. I mean, usually that end of the beach, I suspect people will be creeping this way now with the facility here, but yeah, we'll see. Okay. It's on the way out. Well, enjoy the weekend. <laughs> you two are definitely in the right place. Uh, good luck with that uh, cross-channel uh, swim. It can take about 15 hours or so to do that. And it's just a shame, uh, Ben, I didn't bring my shorts with me this morning, so uh, I'm just going to stay here. I where I am. There's a couple of people in the pool in wetsuits, Jonathan, which gives you a sense that actually maybe it's not that warm in that pool. Yes, there he is down there. Tell you, Ben, it's not that warm, actually, standing by the pool as well. So uh, I don't know what the temperature is in the water, but they're quite a serious bunch down here this morning. Mm. They take their swimming very seriously. I love <laughs> it. Uh, that, that person in that wetsuit is a bit like me. Once I actually got myself a wetsuit, I... I... I, sometimes I couldn't I, get out of it. I'm tempted. <laughs> well, I couldn't get out of it physically. Talcum I'm sometimes powder. tempted to wear it in the shower. I just think <laughs> once you've experienced warm swimming, you just never go back. And you know you? how to warm up a wetsuit when you're swimming in it as well, don't you? I don't, actually. Laura, I'm uh, proud to say. Let's talk about the serious side of this, because, of course, it looks beautiful down there, and that swimming pool looks amazing, and they're all very excited about it. But this alert system, and actually mm. the reality of this from a health perspective is serious, isn't it? Yeah, and, you know, we're not being party poopers. We're not saying it's going to be hot and it's terrible for everybody, but for lots of people, this is great news. It's going to be warm, it's going to be sunny, but there's a proportion of society that this hot weather is just terrible news. So it's not a Met Office weather warning, but it's Met Office forecast temperatures that trigger these alerts, the one that Jonathan was talking about. And the data goes to NHS England, to the government, to public services, and they take that information and they pass it on to public and healthcare professionals to keep people safe, particularly those in high-risk groups. So the heat alert system is like a traffic light system. Green is the lowest level, no action needs to be taken for that, but we've now moved into yellow from 9 o'clock this morning across the north of the UK. Yellow, the lowest level here and it means that the impacts are unlikely to affect most people but it will impact those who are most vulnerable in society but we have an amber alert for the southern half of England and this means the weather impacts are likely to be felt across the whole healthcare service and the potential to affect the whole population the highest level is red we are not in that one but we had it last year but that is when we have these extreme temperatures and it indicates a significant risk to life for even the healthy population Laura, thank you thank very you, much. Laura. Thank you. Well, let's talk to Dr. Amir uh, because, of course, he knows only too well the impact that extreme weather does have on people. Mm -hmm. I mean, Amir, obviously, as Laura says, we don't want to rain on anyone's parade. We don't no. want to tell people that they can't go and enjoy themselves. We just want them to be safe, don't we? Yeah, that's absolutely right. We want people to enjoy the weather. There are lots of health benefits to being outside, provided you're doing it safely. But people, particularly in vulnerable groups, can get ill if their body temperatures rise quicker than they can cool off. So the vulnerable groups that we're talking about are older adults, 
children under five, those with chronic health conditions and those with disabilities who can't communicate thirst or rely on others to get them drinks. Now, there are things that we can all do to enjoy the sun safely. The peak of the heat will be 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., so just be cautious during that time. Drink lots of water. If you're going to drink alcohol, absolutely go and have a good time, but drink water in between your alcoholic beverages as well. Loose fitting clothing and everybody, whether you've got lighter skin or darker skin like me, should be wearing factor 30 sunscreen. Children, factor 50. And the one thing I will say is when it does get hot, uh, people might be tempted to jump into cool looking lakes or reservoirs and that is where problems can arise. So those waters remain cold. So if you jump into them, that sudden immersion in cold water can cause your blood vessels to narrow. Your heart then has to beat faster and work harder. It causes your breathing rate to go up uh, and that can increase your risk of drowning. So that is a real danger. If you want to cool off, a cool shower and an ice lolly is probably better than jumping into a cold reservoir. And don't forget, Ben, I always say this, keep your pets hydrated and put water out for wildlife as well. Very good tips. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you, Dr Amir. Thank you. Very smart kitchen he's got. It, it is, and it's that. It's Struck that. I think the point, the point that, that both Laura and, and Amir mm. are making as well is that yes, go and enjoy it, make the most of it, but just do it carefully because keep it's so safe. Easy to make and mistakes. also, there are people that do need the warnings yes. to be taken seriously because they're vulnerable. So, not party pooping on everybody else. Uh,